Hey guys, welcome to Friday's home workout for this week. Again, hopefully this will be our last Friday off these and hopefully by the middle of next week we'll be back in the gym, fingers crossed. So three rounds of our flexibility work as usual guys. We're gonna come down into our splits work. So one leg out in front, slide that back knee as far back away from us as possible. Lock out the front knee, point your toe away, lean forward, chest out towards your knee. Try to accumulate 30 seconds each side, fingertips or palms to the ground. Okay, really feel that stretch into that hamstring area. Once you've got both sides done, okay, we're gonna go up onto the ground. We're gonna go palms in against the wall. From there, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna drive those hips back. We're gonna push your head and chest down and through. And we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna come back up to standing. Feet shoulder width apart, soft knees, drive our head and chest down and through. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently back up to stand. And we're gonna go for five reps off those. Okay, sure each time we're trying to push as far down through the arms and head as possible. Okay, each rep. Then we're gonna go down to the ground. We're gonna go wrist flexibility. So 10 reps, fingers facing forward, rocking our body weight forward and back. 10 reps, fingers out to the side. So 10 to the right, 10 to the left, 20 in total. And then 10 reps, fingers facing in towards us, sit back into our heels. 10 repetitions as needed. So 10 of each. Once we get through that, we've got our three mobility exercises done for today. We're gonna to do three rounds and then get after our strength work. So like last week, guys, check out the video from last week. Straightforward enough, same as last week. We got either head handstands, handstand holds, we got um, headstand holds, or we're gonna do um, half knee and one arm presses today. So there are three options. Five sets on your headstand and your handstand holds, just accumulate as much time as possible. Your scores, your seconds, you held the floor without coming down. So handstands, arms locked out, headstand, head on the ground, hands are on the ground, tripod position, do both movements in against the wall for safety, any worries about it, don't do it, go to the more uh, beginner level movement. Okay, so five rounds, trying to keep the time the same across all five sets. So if you held the first round in your headstand for 30 seconds, your goal is to be able to hold it again in round number five for 30 seconds. There's no point holding up round one for one minute, and then by the time you get to round number five, you can barely hold on for 20 seconds. You want some kind of consistency across your rounds, whether that's handstands, headstands, or whatever. If you're not doing either of those, you're gonna be doing your half knee and one arm press. So knee that's on the ground, that's the side that's holding the dumbbell or the kettlebell. Up, overhead, control on the way down, touch the shoulder. Eight reps. 10 reps, 12 reps, depends on what weight you have, how challenging it is. Just make sure the reps you're doing are challenging. Okay, so if you find six reps each side is max effort, then that's all you do. It all depends on what weight you have. Once you got both sides done, rest as needed, accumulate five rounds with that weight. If you've got a barbell, you can be standing or sitting strict press, doing both arms at the same time. Plenty, plenty of options there available, guys. Then we're going to go on to our Mekon, once we've got five sets of that strength work done, handstands, headstands, or one arm presses. Today's Mekon is going to be five rounds. We've got one minute of swings, one minute of sit-ups, one minute of skipping. So in minute one, we're going to do as many kettlebell or dumbbell swings as possible. Those doing dumbbells, make sure you're holding it like this, not hold it in the middle. If you hold it in the middle, it's going to make you round your back. So we're gonna hold it at the top so we can stay nice and tall. So minute one, we're gonna do as many kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings as possible. During that minute, when I feel my technique break down, I'm gonna rest for a few seconds, pick it back up, and go again for the remainder of the minute. We're gonna go straight then into our sit-ups. So lying on our back, hands above our head, up, grab our knees, heels in towards us. One, touch the ground, grab our knees, that's two. 
touch the ground, grab our knees, that's three, and so on for a minute. On minute number three, we're gonna come up onto our feet. We're gonna go single unders, or double unders, or single, single doubles. If you don't have axes or you can't skip, you can do box jumps. Would be a good alternative to get that heart rate up and to get that jumping mechanics the same. And then, if that's still not an option, you could do some step ups off some sort of high box. Okay, so plenty of options there for the skipping section. So one minute of swings, one minute of sit-ups, and then one minute of either double unders, single single doubles, single unders, step ups, box jumps. Pick something that's challenging, pick something they have available to yourself. You got your three minutes of work done, one minute, minute straight into the second minute, straight into the third minute. On minute number four, you're gonna get a minute rest, and then you're gonna do five rounds in total. Okay, so use that rest break wisely try to maintain your reps across your rounds as possible so if you get 20 swings done on round one ideally if the technique is good and you're feeling good and everything's feeling good technique wise you're aiming to hit them 20 reps still by the time we get to round number five same with the sit-ups if you're getting 15 sit-ups done on round one we're going to try our best to get 15 sit-ups done in round number five if we're getting 50 double unders done in round one. We want to try and get 50 double unders done by the time we get to round number five. So they're all little kind of goals and little mini goals we can set ourselves. So in round one, go with it at like about an 80, 70 to 80 percent pace. Okay, and then use those numbers as some kind of goals for each round. Okay, if you want to use the whole minute, you can. If you don't want to use the whole minute, you just want to aim for that score, then use the rest of the time as rest in between to transition from movement to movement. So, three movements, swings, sit-ups, skipping, one minute rest, five rounds. Add up all your reps across your five rounds today, guys. Any questions, let me know, and we hope to see you guys next week.